Hey guys, I'm back in the saddle. It's uh, January 9th. Um, it's about 42 degrees right now. It's only going to be getting colder. Um, it should be a low of about 28 this evening. Um, I really think we're going to get some deer movement. Uh, I've been catching a lot of deer on cameras, a couple shooters. Um, right now it looks like it's about 3 o'clock. So I got in here a little bit early um, just to make sure I'm set up because these deer are moving right around 5. Um, so hopefully we can uh, lay one down. I've got my dad out. He's about um, 250 yards kind of down this log and road into this bottom um, at a pinch point where a creek um, kind of meets a flat in a swamp. So. There's deer traveling that edge, maybe he'll get them moving before they get to me or um, the deer that aren't coming to me going to the tilled up ag fields across the street. So either way, I'm gonna keep an eye on this ridge behind me. A lot of turkeys moving today too, so um, it's windy. I'm gonna have to spot them today. I'm not gonna hear them coming in, so I've um, got the math. Hey you guys, it's uh, January 13th, Wednesday. Um, I sat out this morning and didn't go to the woods, uh, took care of some family matters, but um, this afternoon I'm going to get out there. It's 45 degrees right now, so it's still rather moderate um, into a warm winter so far. Uh, I got down to 26 yesterday, and um, finally the big eight pointer showed back up. He was in one of my food plots, uh, looks like he was pawing at like turnips. So. Um, that's a good sign. So he was there at 2 in the morning with about like 9 other does. So I believe um, he's going to be bedded in the area. And usually when he's there in the morning, uh, he's been there in the evening. We just need him to come out during daylight hours. So I'm going to change where I'm going to hunt today. Um, I'm probably going to be more toward that food plot. Um, Last time you showed up on camera was the day before gun season. So basically it was a week from today is the last time he showed up. And he was in the woods about, I guess about 350 yards from where I spotted him um, on my camera this morning. So um, I'm gonna be kind of between those two points, but uh, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned, I'll check in with you guys when I'm in the stand. Um, fingers crossed, man, I wanna knock one down. It's uh, like I said, it's getting late, late in the season, so. Check in later. Hey guys, it's um, three o'clock. Uh, it's about 45 degrees. It is January 18th. The weather's not really cooperating, but I'm back down in this spot, down in the bottom. Um, I really like this tree, I'm in the saddle. Um, good it's uh, got three trunks on it so literally I'm right in the middle of a tripod about 19 feet off the ground so uh, or my feet are so I'm probably shooting at about oh, about 22 foot 23 foot and um, really secure because there's no leaves on the tree um, I've gotten quite a few deer on the camera down in this bottom. I set it up last week when I hunted, didn't see anything. Um, and I left the camera there because there's some nice trails and browse going in and out of these thickets. And um, the camera's been lighting up these past two days. Um, my three-legged um, nine-pointer that just dropped his horns, so he looks, looks like a three-legged doe. But um, he's been in the area and a few other does um, and this is about I'd say about 200 yards across um, like a marsh bottom which is back here behind me before you get to that tree line up there there's a food plot right in this area and uh, the 
deer have been traveling through, but I haven't been able to catch them during daylight in the food plot, so I'm like kind of cutting them off. I think that's what they're doing. They're traveling through this bottom, so dad is set up, I guess about 400 yards back behind me near one of my other stand locations, and the big boy showed up there this morning at 7.15 while I was at work, so that's another reason I'm down here, but I decided to go somewhere different. I'm not going to hunt that same spot. He isn't showing up for me, and maybe it's not meant to be, just trying to change it up a little bit, so we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, hey guys, I'm uh, <clears throat> back in the stand. It is, let's see, how about... About 325, January 20th, and um, I had an encounter with uh, Crab Claw, one of my shooters this morning. I came across this knoll behind me came within about 50 yards but he walked right along the burb. Um, I had some corn out here. I've been just scattering. Um, not a corn pile but he didn't even come over here. The does have been hitting in this area hard and the turkeys but um, he was going to bedding. Um, watched him for about 250 yards just mosey his way on down the ridge and uh, Good, good to know because I haven't seen him since January 3rd on my cameras. Um, he made it through black powder, and there's 11 days left to bow season left, uh, uh, or deer season period in Maryland. So I'm pretty excited he's made it. Um, I'm gonna hunt hard a few days, probably a total of three more complete days, morning and afternoon sits, um, God willing. Uh, but today I have a good buddy with me. Um, He's down in this bottom right behind me, right where Crab Claw came out this morning. So I'm gonna try to zoom in on him by a second, but of course I'm in the Manus. Got the Matthews. And I also just did a thing today. I just ordered my Matthews uh, V327 customized it so should be in in a few weeks um, let's see if I can show you my buddy where he's at Dude, he's blending in that Sika gear in the sun. So, he's right where that buck came out this morning. Right on that hole, crossed down into this bottom. So between him and I, we got about 50 yards. So we should be able to smoke anything. All right, you guys, stay tuned. One of the last shots of the Matthews DXT. Might be home with a new bow soon, so. Well, it'll be next season. Stay tuned.